When you live in a colder climate, you oftentimes have below freezing temperatures, and it makes it really difficult to prime your models or miniatures, whatever you're trying to paint outside. Hi there, welcome back to Diamond Ridge Studios. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I prime models in the winter. I have found a method that works well, so I don't need to go outside and spray the model. So what you will need is some form of gesso. This is what I find works well as a basically a paint on primer. I use the Liquitex Professional Surface Preparation Gesso, but I'm pretty sure any brand will work fine. And then you're going to need two paint brushes. I'm using the Princeton Angle Shader Quarter Inch Brush and the Robert Simmons Size Zero Round Brush. You don't really need two brushes, but I find that it, the littler brush helps get into the cracks and nooks and crannies of the mane. You will also need a container of water to wash off your brushes and something to, to mix your paint in. I usually use a piece of tin foil because I find it is easiest to mix the paint on there and then I just throw it away afterwards. The model I'm going to be prepping today is the Schleich Icelandic Mare from 2014. She's all ready for her primer. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take our gesso and we're going to squirt a little bit on there. That was probably a bit too much, but that is okay. And remember you can always add more. And then you're going to take your big brush and you're going to dip it into your water and you're going to mix that little bit of water, so like probably just a drop or two, with the gesso. I'm just going to be holding her by her tail and let's just get started. So you're just going to have a little bit on your brush and you're just going to coat the model with the gesso and just kind of do your best to make it even and you will need multiple coats I covered your entire body with gesso and so now it's time to move on to the main I usually do the main last, I really don't know why, but it's just something that I do. So we're going to take our smaller round shader brush and I'm just going to paint over that and any spots that I missed with the first pass. Another thing to think about is gesso dries ridiculously quickly, so just keep that in mind if you put a big blob of gesso on let's say her flank and then you have to just make sure you smooth that out quickly because it is like this part is pretty much dry and it's only been like two or three minutes so just keep that in mind she's completely covered in gesso and now she's going to sit for five, ten minutes, and then I'm gonna go in and do the next layer. Okay, so I'm gonna apologize in advance for all the lighting changes. The sun has been coming in and out, so I'm sorry if it seems dark now, but it was crazy bright a couple minutes ago. So we are on to our second layer of gesso, and basically the second layer is pretty much the same as the first layer, except you're doing it again, and there's already a layer of gesso down. I usually do about two layers and then two layers comes out about like this. You can still kind of see through it, but for me, what I'm doing with these two, they're both gonna be bays. So I really don't need that opaque color of white. So two coats is good for me, but if you're going to do something like a gray or a very pale color, you're going to want to do probably between three to five layers, depending on how thickly you lay it on. It has kind of a slightly textured finish and you can kind of feel it whereas like 
primer is often smooth. So that is all I have for today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, turn on notifications so you can be notified every time I release a video, which is about once per week and once a month I release a special extra video.